Down this long overgrown driveway sits a house that was custom built by hand in the 1950s by a carpenter who immigrated to Canada from Italy. Shortly after finishing the house, he started a successful woodworking company with a few friends in a small garage on the property. He lived in the home with his family until 2001 when he passed away from cancer and the house has sat abandoned since then. I explored this property six years ago and before I made it to the house, we were caught by a very angry neighbor. I've heard many stories of explorers being caught on the property, so I stayed away until I did a photo shoot here in 2020. We had no issues, but I was told about more people being caught here after that and that it was closely watched. So this time we came late at night and this is what happened. Starting off on the top floor of the first house, it looks like it's in pretty rough shape. As you can see, some vandalism, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna go see what we can find. A lot of graffiti. I can still see the old wallpaper behind. You can see in the closet where the animals have had their way with the insulation. There's an old power cord going up to the attic. I don't think that's been used in a long time. <clears throat> Looks like a clump of a dead animal. Yeah, here the sirens are coming to get us. I'm here with Mike. The old skeleton team. Are they? Oh, you checked on Twitter? Yeah. Okay, good. For odors? Yeah. Yeah, so gas. Look at the old wallpaper up there. Oh, I didn't even see this light fixture. That is gorgeous. Very old. Okay, it's, I think it's passing by us now. Not by us, like out front. No, so the upstairs on this house is fairly small. It's literally two bedrooms and a bathroom. Just tons of graffiti. They watch you from plain sight. I can't be on it. Honestly, I can't be bothered to read all of that. Look at the old vacuum. Kenmore Sears brand. Another old light fixture. Closet. This is a bathroom that has seen better days. Love the purple paint peel. It had the double light, the mirror and countertop. No sink. Oh, the sink's over here. Look how old that is. I have been here, like I said in the beginning. Um, but it's been a long time. I barely remember any of it. We'll head down to the main floor. Wallpaper peeling off. I 
just literally hanging here. There's one thing that's still intact in here, in here is the nice solid door frames. This floor is so screwed. How bad is it to get over there? Over here is fine, but okay. I don't know about going in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Forever in our hearts. August 2003. Miss you so bad. So sad seeing all this stuff. I miss you, Dad. Oh, wow, yeah, this floor. Yeah, I don't know about walking through here. You can see it's bowed right down underneath all of these cabinets. Let's see. Everything does seem semi-sturdy. I don't want to go too far. Especially if there's not much over there and I can't see. Doesn't look like enough for me to risk going over this. Very old dishes. Incredible. I'll let Mike do his photos and we'll head over there. All right. Time for me to try to go over this wonky floor. Oh, it's on such an angle. That is so sad and so creepy at the same time. Yeah. I don't want to hang around that chair for too long. The decay in this room is heavy. Wow. Most VHS on that dresser. Oh, look at the old bricks. Well, the last step is busted. Yeah, it's so interesting. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'm just gonna squeeze over here. Oh, very small basement. Yeah. Very short, very small. It's 
speaks to the age of it. Is that a beam from the floor? Yeah. Like the ceiling? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like a joint there or something like that. Look at this. Yeah, it's about to fall. The brick column. It's wild. I mean there's nothing holding this house up anymore. No. Wow. And it's gonna go just because of the floor is moving, right? Yeah, exactly. It's raised up like a foot here. There's a what? It's like raised up a foot above the ground over here. Oh yeah. She tells me I don't wanna hang out in here too long. I don't wanna be in the basement when it decides to come down. Whoa. Let's get out of this one. Go see what the other house is looking like. To avoid using lights outside, I switched to long exposure photos. The property has a large barn. Six years ago, there was a Trans Am in the barn, but that is now gone. And several smaller buildings with cars left behind. Then an old Victorian house that I think was the original house on the land. On this explore, it was not open, so I'm adding highlights from the video that we filmed six years ago.
Not being able to get inside of the second house and not being able to use lights. I wasn't able to end the video on the property. I hope all of you enjoyed this adventure. Let me know if you caught anything that I missed and what your thoughts are about this explore. And as always, I'll see you on the next adventure.